I'm here in the test house at the University of Austin, Texas with Attila Novoselic, who is the master of the house. So Attila, what is this house all about? What are we doing? It's about educating future leaders in, in the air quality field. We decided to purchase a full-scale house, uh, which is a pre-manufactured home. Uh, nothing special, pretty much every equipment here in this house is more expensive than the house itself. But it gives us a really great opportunity to use and instrument this house and make a, some kind of laboratory, which is still a, a real, a, a life, real house. life house uh, with all the materials uh, which are used in the buildings. So, uh, and uh, gave us a great opportunity to do some cool, what we call full scale experiments air quality, energy efficiency, fall detection, uh, material testing, uh, natural ventilation. So, we have probably more than two dozen of different projects. We're not going to actually use this house to contain all of the test tools that the chemists are going to be using. That actually we brought in four trailers to uh, surround the house so that we can actually house those pieces of equipment. So let's check that out. We're right outside the U-Test house um, and we have four trailers that are going to be housing all of our instrumentation. This is our baby trailer for our oxidant and radical measurements and it's going to be totally packed with lasers and pumps and students. Yeah. And so got, it's a mess there. This yes. is going to have a big GC to measure a whole lot of volatile organic compounds, so VOC, instruments to measure ozone and nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide all in here. This is one of the two bigger trailers. This one's going to have all of our particle measurement instruments. Uh, in other words, aerosols. So we're going to be measuring the chemistry and the size and the concentration of particles uh, with instruments inside this trailer. Our last trailer is all the volatile organic compounds that are really tough to measure. So this is going to have four uh, big instruments measuring oxidized organic compounds and volatile organic compounds uh, using at least three mass spectrometers and several gas chromatographs. So this trailer is going to be filled with large instruments for measuring organics. Is it true that the test equipment actually exceeds the square footage of the house? Pretty much. Pretty much. In some experiments, we needed uh, a house which was failing and we were failing this house. We can really run very cool experiments without affecting other people. Bothering yeah. actual, yeah, Americans. So this is cool, 22 million Americans live in manufactured homes. So we actually are getting useful data for them. Also, what's cool about this for me is that you know that we care about building science and home performance. You watch me on YouTube, but the reason that we're involved in this is because we specialize in explaining this stuff and doing it in the private market, but there's this whole other world of academic building scientists who are way more hardcore about everything. And you heard all of the things that Attila is measuring in this house. I'm learning a lot about building science on this project as well. So this is just really exciting to see a house where we've got numbers so many numbers, all the metrics that we've got here. Don't describe this house as something that's like beautiful for a family to live in, but they describe whatever it is that we want to describe. So for those of you who are just starting to do blower door tests, this is where you gotta be. So much is gonna happen in the month of June with this home chem study to further indoor air quality conversations, to further the study of indoor chemistry, which isn't just about the quality of the air, but also about how it changes. You can make bad things out of good ingredients. So we should all be careful to watch out for the myth busting that's gonna be happening and make ourselves smarter so that we can control our home performance better. Subscribe, comment, participate. Tune in next time.